Okay, this is my part three um, backstory about my abuse. Um, it's going to be part three and part four. I'm hoping to make it quicker than 15 minutes and it should. But anyway, um, I was going to actually only make it as the whole and the uplifting part tonight, but um, I just had a mental it moment um just having a bad night and i guess in my last video had it with um shows and soap operas that don't have moral stuff but anyway just watch the video and you'll understand um anyway avoid um if you go through that um mental and aggression and anger portion let it happen walk away from people who don't understand what we deal with mentally and emotionally if we have that dark moments dark areas dark spaces in our minds that when you're having a bad moment let it happen because we don't understand and people who say, oh, let it pass, and that, like, the religious folk and the Mormons, mostly the Mormons, said we shouldn't have bad times, bad moments, bad fights. Um, I disagree. Because if you let it ride and go through it, things will ha be much better and happier. Um, like my boyfriend said, if you go through them mental issues and mental moments, make sure they're moments, not long periods of stuff. You know, right now, I should have wish he would have been here when I needed calming down and relaxing. Even if I didn't let him. I just need a man who... Uh, Calm me down and calm my mind. Times when I'm mental or in dark spaces, just to reassure me, reassure me I'm okay. But anyway, that was quicker than I thought. So here's the fourth part: the positive outlook. Um, outlook. Um, I've been painfully noticing it I had in my entire life and that's the reason why I'm going to keep it less than 15 minutes because it's going to be a long one i not sure but it feels like it to me but anyway in times when I just thank God I had hope and realized I had friends and family love and I do love life I do love my friends and family I was fortunate to have that um dealing with this whole thing like I said in that second to last video I had my sister thank God for her but anyway um never thought even if in my dark times, darkest moments, I never had suicide or really dark, dark, dark thoughts in my mind. I don't know why I should have because of how mentally and emotionally beat up and exhausted I sometimes feel abused. Um, life hasn't dug me that hard. I ever wanted to give up. Thank you, God, and thank you, Lord, for giving me that strength and that word not even in my vocabulary. And I also seen others who have been through it was for me. Mine was only three years, and I just 
that that was a living hell, and I never thought I would be able to get through it. I seen worse cases where um, people have been through it for 19 years. JC Duke got um, 10 years, like Sh Sean. I forgot his name. Name in, from St. Louis. Um, yes, boys do get abused. Um, and also, um, the Cleveland girls, um, Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, even though I'm not a fan of Michelle Knight anymore, I think she just overwhelmed us, and she just made it just way too overblown for her. And then Gina, the Zeus, they went to a thing play together, but for 10 years. Um, I can't even imagine them having a normal life and Michelle even being married now. I don't know how they managed to survive it that long and me being three years and feeling pity and shitty about it, my own experience. Um, I think God I didn't have to deal with the worst of the worst and just dealt with some issues where I was too emotionally and mentally exhausted that I wanted to give up. Um, it really did give me hope and my family and my friends um, I don't think my friends even know it except one. I think Mark, you may have we know about it. I not sure. But anyway, um, relationships go. That's when the emotional and physical toll it has become deep because. I really want a family, I want a husband, I want kids, and sometimes I just want to give up and just be alone the rest of my life. But fortunately, like I said earlier, I do have a guy who loves me and who wants to be with me and would give me any space, room, patience I need. And I appreciate it. And it gives me hope that one day I could handle all the issues and moments, like I said in the beginning, and all the emotional baggage and mental baggage. I have, I know you have your own baggage, but mine, I think, is worse than yours. And thank God you are a father. Um, of two girls, um, even though you didn't go plastic, <laughs> you didn't go, you know, I'm sure deep down you're angry because you're macho and you have that personality. Um, but I need a man who would protect me from myself. Um, like, one of the um, pictures on um, Facebook. Um, if you want a princess to stand um, stand by you, you're looking for the wrong gun. But if you want a queen to stand by you and fight with you, that would be me. Even though some days I just don't feel like a warrior, I, don't, I feel like a princess who doesn't dismal and distress, but I know I'm not. I'm not a snowflake, I'm not a cupcake, um, I'm not fragile. I can take it as well as I can dish it. So I appreciate your love, patience, before, now, and future. And I just appreciate life and I just love life and all I have in positive is hope for the future that I do 
I will never give up. I just hope I can stay away from the poem, which has started again. I just need a man who will be there, stand by me. When I tough, times are tough, I'm in the darkest moments, darkest times. Just love me for who I am, loving me, no matter what is going on in life. I just need just a normal man who be patient, strong, and loving like you are.